Mention undisputed, you know, you've been in a ring with, you know, undisputed, you know, Terrence Crawford, two time undisputed in this ring. What was that experience like, you know, and just the cage just throw you in there on something like you just gonna, you gonna let, me, let me tell you the story of that actually. You know, I, we, I would, K had me sparring four days straight already. And here in the Alexa, you know, True and them are all here. They could tell you four days straight, blah, blah, I was doing good. I remember I went home, K's like, tomorrow, man, you had the day off, you've been working hard. I was like, thanks, K, man. I'm so, I was so happy. I was like, yeah, yeah. I remember I was going to Walmart. I was at Walmart. I, and I went to, I forgot what, I was gonna buy something. I think I was buying like groceries to make for dinner. But I was happy because I'm like, I had the day off tomorrow. I don't gotta worry about it. I'm not gonna sleep in for once. And I get this call. I look at my phone. It's Coach K. And I'm like, Coach K, what, why is he calling me for? And I answered the phone. Hey, what's up, K? He's like, hey, man, you're gonna spar boots tomorrow. He didn't even ask me. He's like, you want to? He's like, you're gonna spar boots tomorrow. And I said, huh? And I kid you not. <laughs> My stomach dropped. <laughs> it dropped. I, I was just like, oh, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how many? How, before I can say how many rounds, I just clink. He hung up the thing. So I remember I looked right at my brother. I kid you. I wish my brother was here. I, I looked right at my brother. I'm like, damn, I'm going to get my ass beat tomorrow. And uh, you, when you say boots, you mean Crawford? Or? Uh, Crawford, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I look at my brother. I'm like, dude, man, I'm going to get my ass beat tomorrow, man. And. Uh, my brother started laughing at me. He's like, oh, well, I guess you're going to have to move or something. So then, you know, the next day comes. I remember I was listening to Best Friends uh, from 50 Cent in the car, driving over there. I used to, like, trying to hype myself up. And then, what's up, Arjun? And then, uh, uh, you know, I drive up to, uh, we go up to the UFC uh, Apex Center. And then we get there. And then we start, uh, you know, I see... Uh, uh, but me, money, uh, me mugging uh, everybody because Fernando Vargas was there, Junior, I was there, and DJ Zamora, mm -hmm. trying to there, pound for pound. Oh, well, not with us. Uh, we were all there, you know, me mugging all of us. I remember typical Terrence, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Looking you at know, Fernando Vargas, I'm just looking out the sideline. Like, Dang, man. I'm like, I gotta, I'm all thinking in my head what I gotta do, what I gotta do, what I gotta do. Then when I go in there, you know, I do good, you know. You know, uh, all this nerves. Well, like I said, once you step in, all those nerves go away. You know, we, I started working good. Did really good. That impressed Bud and stuff like that. And he invited me back like another seven times when he was here. Or uh, well, during the time Kenny Sims was uh, fighting mm -hmm. back in what was it? June. June. Okay, that, is that when it was on the Frank Martin card? Yeah, yeah. Okay, for the so, Eliminator. Yeah, yeah. So uh, like that. So he gave me like something. Kept inviting me back, which is good because. For me, it shows me as a fighter that he, he sees something in me that sometimes, you know, as a young fighter, you don't see in yourself. So when he kept inviting me back, and then apparently in a dressing room at Kenny's fight, he kept saying, hey, I'm going I'm to I'm get it back. I'm going to get it back from Prey, which meant a lot to me, you know, uh, knowing that, you know, I did, I caused, I, I did something to make him think. So mm -hmm. that was a great experience for me. And if he keeps inviting me out to keep doing sparring. I will always say yes, you know. There's some days you might do good, some days I might do good. But, you know, the, the, I always like it when sometimes you get a top-level guy and, and they give me problems because as a young fighter, sometimes you get you have too much pride. Yeah. And you stop. I'm like, I'm stopping everybody and stuff like that. So it's good to sometimes get humbled a bit and, and, and go back to the to the drawing boards in the gym during sparring. And be like, okay, this is what I need to knock, uh, like a punch back into reality, so, yeah. which I think is very good. You know, Obviously, he's probably going to be fighting Spence, you know, coming up. I mean, yeah. does anything change from that? Like, does he does he stop him quicker, easier? I mean... I think the, the fight, I mean, I think Bud's probably going to stop him probably even faster now because he already got to figure it out. I mean, it was nothing, didn't look like he gave Bud any problems at all. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it is boxing. He got two hands just like... Just like Spence does, any literally anything, one punch can change the whole entire fight. Mm -hmm. um, but in my opinion, I think he'll probably finish even sooner yeah, by, by stoppage because you could say, because Bud even said it himself and, and one time that, oh, once I beat you, they're going to say rehydration, yep. this and this, you were too big. Uh -huh. He said it from the beginning, and then that's the excuse that they were saying, yep. a lot of people have been saying. So even if he's rehydrated, I still think it's going to be the same exact thing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I mean, Spence, he always fought like that, I think. Even he was drained and stuff like that. But, yeah. you know, you got a full day. There was no rehydration class or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think uh, Bud would just demolish him again. You know, you know, seeing the fact that the IBF took his belt. And I, 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 I thought that was messed up. I would be like, <laughs> dang, man. Like, right? <laughs> good, for, good for Boots. <laughs> but, 
think about coming after a big win like that, undisputed, and then a couple months later, like, hey, man, got some bad news for you. Yeah. You ain't undisputed no more. I'd be like, dang. Uh, so, you know, in a way, I'll see. I won't blame uh, but if he goes up to 54. Better for me. You yeah. know, it makes it way more easy for me to get the belts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, but no, I think it was pretty, you know, messed up that that happened, but... Like I say, you never know what's going to happen with boxing. There's so much things going on in the business world is that, that a lot of people don't see. Is he that much more top tier? Because I know that we um, meant to say Bud earlier, but I believe you sparred Boots. Yeah, um, sparred Boots. I, it was actually for that camp as well for uh, 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 for the one I fought here in Cosmopolitan. So obviously, you know, the, the question I got to ask, uh, you know. Yeah, the question everybody will always ask, who's but, better, who is harder? I mean, it's just, you know, overall, it's just your honest opinion, right? I mean, oh. there's going to be size, right? Jerron's bigger, obviously. Mm -hmm. Terrence is more experienced. Like, these are obvious takes that, mm -hmm. but just, you know, why would maybe Terrence or why would Boots? Um, so, like I said, they're both tremendous fighters. Uh, they fight two whole different, they have two whole different styles, but kind of both fight the same, right? Uh, being in there with first with Bud and then being in there with Ennis probably what two weeks later when I went down to Philly. Um, I've always said I think uh, I've always said to everybody I think uh, Bud will take it off because the experience he has and why because like when I was in there in the things he has so much as the rounds go by and he sees me touching him on one thing it's not gonna happen again to the second the second round he's always gonna switch it up which causes me to think. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously you can't compare Ennis to Bud. He's still newer to the game, mm -hmm. you know. Um, he, I, don't, I don't think he's fought in too much of a top level as Bud has. But um, I just go off of experience just for <laughs> Bud in that case. But they both hit tremendously hard. Bud's body shots are crazy, but, you know. You're the second, like, within two weeks, someone talked about Terrence's body shots. Yeah, they're crazy, man. Okay. I would recommend someone, go ahead. You, just, you go in the ring and get hit with a body shot, one of those, man. They, yeah, Gene, bro. Yeah, man, they make, you, they make you rethink life for a second. Like, dang, man, why am I doing boxing, man? I don't think this is for me. But, no, it, it was good. Like I said, those are the sparrings that you need to involve as a fighter. Because if, if I if I spar with guys either my level or even lower, it makes you, you're like, you'll think you're an animal, that you're unstoppable. But then once you get with those top-level athletes like that, you'll be like, oh, okay, <laughs> let me relax a little bit. But even with the, like, you know, not going into sparring and not picking, like, who's, you know, better in a sense of whatnot. But it's just, like, your reaction to Terrence is, like, night and day difference from yeah, Boots. Like, yeah. I, it's not a, I don't respect Boots. Obviously, this is probably someone you have to face. Maybe he'll move out in a division before you guys maybe even cross and maybe but no but that that i've always said that would be a great fight for us to happen one day as well i mean two of the best athletes that will happen i mean it probably might not happen at 47 but it might happen at 54. like i said i'm still growing shoot when i was amateur i left at 52. i was barely making 152 and looking at now i'm 47. uh so like i said in the pros is a whole different game there's more nutrition and more discipline and stuff like that so if it's not happening in the 47, it's definitely going to happen at 54. Who knows? I've always told people, I want to be in the sport a very long time. But yet again, your body's your body. You never know. Um, but I, I think I'll probably end up finishing at 168, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, you're sparring them already now. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, hopefully, if I make it a super heavyweight, who knows? You know, if I'm there that long. But, you know, I got the hype for it. I mean, I'll be pretty, pretty small for super heavyweight. Uh -huh. But still, you know, I'll probably even heavy. Uh, what's that? They added a new weight class too in between. Richard right? weight. Yeah, so who knows? I'll probably be there too as well. Cause you know one of my good friends, Richard Torres. Uh huh. He he's in. Uh, well, he's super heavyweight. He cause he's two forty. Well, well technically he's heavyweight now. Yeah. Is he? Well, I mean, there's only heavyweight now. Yeah. Well, so you know. Uh, who knows? Maybe that's a fight between me and my best friend right there. Richard as well. Torres, damn, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, man. <laughs> you growing that fast? You know, I gotta. You know. Uh. I don't know what the future's gonna hold. Mm -hmm. but, uh, excited. Well, you know, obviously, you know, I don't take too much of your time. Uh, just recapping, January 17th on Pro Box, you'll be back. Yeah. You know, no more just sitting around, just we'll chilling. Around. You know. So, you know, we did that fight uh, because we don't like to sit around too much. We're mm -hmm. still trying to figure out what PBC is doing with Amazon Prime yeah. for their stuff to get situated. So, we don't want to wait too much on that. We want to get be uh, busy, and you know, especially as a young fighter as well, you don't want to stop. No, I'm not making that. <laughs> I'm not making Devin Haney money yet. So <laughs> until I get there, then I can relax a little bit. But at this moment, I need fights to uh, to get myself out there to have more exposure and uh, 
show the world who I am. Well, where can they find you on social media if they want to get a little bit more? Uh, f uh, they're all the same. Uh, for Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram is uh, Freudis Rojas Jr. So it's F R E U D I S R O J A S J R. Awesome. Appreciate it, champ. Oh, thank you, man.